Transfiguration means to change in outward appearance. 2,000 years ago, this is what happened to Jesus just before he travelled to Jerusalem for the Passover. Jesus was in the upper parts of Galilee, around the pagan city of Caesarea Philippi. Opposition to Jesus from the religious and political leaders in the south climaxed after the feeding of the 5,000 Jewish followers and then the 4,000 Gentiles. These leaders began to plot to kill Jesus. So he travelled for a short time to Herod Philip's territory to teach his disciples about his coming betrayal, death and resurrection. He would soon head south to Jerusalem for the Passover and fulfil his teaching. While he was around Caesarea Philippi, the Gospels tell us that Jesus took three of his disciples aside, Peter, James and John. They climbed a mountain and Jesus' appearance changed before their very eyes. He was transformed or transfigured. His face and garments shone with heavenly brightness. And Moses and Elijah, representing the law and the prophets, stood with him. The three disciples witnessed more than just Jesus' change of appearance. They saw Jesus in all his glory. In other words, the Lordship of Christ. It's not surprising why Peter wanted to make permanent shelters for Jesus, Moses and Elijah to keep them on earth. As he makes his offer, he's interrupted by God's voice from heaven, declaring that Jesus is his son and instructs all to listen to him. Some have suggested that the mountain Jesus and his disciples climbed was Mount Tabor in the Jezreel Valley. Mount Tabor was where Barak and Deborah mustered their army during the battle with Sisera and the Canaanites in the Old Testament. It was also the place where an adulterous shrine was set up in Hosea's day. However, it's an unlikely place for the transfiguration, considering that Jesus and his disciples were further north in Herod Philip's territory at the time, and furthermore, Mount Tabor lies in the jurisdiction of Herod Antipas, and he was one of the leaders Jesus was trying to avoid. Many scholars believe that the transfiguration probably occurred on top of Mount Hermon. It's situated near Caesarea Philippi, where Jesus and his disciples had just visited. This seems the logical high place for them to go. Mount Hermon stands 2,814 metres above sea level. Snow usually lies on the mountain all year round. The melting ice and snow travel down the upper reaches of the Jordan River and then flow into Lake Galilee. However, where this event occurred isn't as important as the event itself. The Transfiguration marks an important stage in the revelation of Jesus as the Christ and the Son of God. It's an event similar to his baptism, for here his glory is revealed, not through his deeds, but in a more personal way, his character. For Peter, James and John, it was an unforgettable picture of heavenly glory a preview of the glorified Christ and the second coming. It was something the Apostle Paul would also experience on the road to Damascus. The Transfiguration is a focal point in the revelation of the Kingdom of God. It looks back to the Old Testament and shows how Jesus Christ fulfills it. And it looks on to the great events of the Cross, Resurrection, Ascension and the Second Coming.